So hi guys, my name is Wilson and welcome back to my channel. And I know it's been a while again, I have uploaded my last video and today I'm going to make another video about animals for you guys. So the specimen that I am going to talk about today is one of my favorite favorite reptile species that I always wanted and I can't wait to show you guys what animal is that. So before we start, I hope you guys can hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you won't miss a single upload. Okay, so for today's video, I'm going to introduce you to you guys um, one of my favorite, favorite colubrid species. Um, some of you may or may not know about what is the meaning of colubrid, but I'm going to tell you colubrid uh, is represented by most of the non venomous snake in the world. So, the specimen that I'm going to talk about right here is the Mexican black king snake. Some of you may ask why my Mexican black king snake has all this yellow spot on his body. Okay, so it's actually a he. Um, I'll call it Inky for now since I have no other name suggestion. So, back to the question, why my Mexican black king snake or your Mexican black king snake has this yellow spot on their body is because sometimes it does happen in hatching and juvenile stage. Since snake will shed their skin, when they reach adulthood, all these yellow spots will disappear and show very uh, dark black nice color. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you um, the snake is actually divided into three parts, which is the head, body and tail. It's not only head and tail. So, let's look at Inky here. So, this is his head. After his head, this is the body. Until here. After the cloaca. Can you see the cloaca? So, here's the cloaca. Oh, yeah. So, here's the cloaca. And after this is the tail. So, as I said just now, colubrid is represented by most of the non-venomous snake and Mexican black king snake is also one of the non-venomous snake in this family. So, the Mexican black king snake is actually one of the constrictor and they are not venomous at all. So, you may wonder how a non-venomous snake is going to kill a prey without venom. Some snake species constrict their prey. Just like the Mexican black king snake Inky here, he will constrict their prey until death and only start to swallow them whole. There are more than 3,000 species of snake on the planet and they are found everywhere. About 600 species are venomous, only 200 species are able to kill or significantly wound a human. And the Mexican black king snake that I am talking about, which is Inky here, is not one of them. So, um, what is so special about the Mexican black king snake is that the Mexican black king snake just like their name, they have full solid black skill which make them so special and so majestic. Another thing that makes Mexican black king snake so special is that they are actually Ophiophagus. What do I mean by the term Ophiophagus is that the Mexican black king snake actually had the ability to hunt on other snake species, particularly the rather snake which originated from their region, which is Mexico. Snakes rely mostly on their sense of smell and the sense of touch. Snakes do not have noses like we do. They have nostrils to breathe with but snakes smell with their tongue. They use their sense to hunt, escape danger and to find a mate. They also have developed a highly specialized scent organ known as the Jacobson organ, which allow them to literally taste the air. The Jacobson organ is found in all species of snake and lizard, plus many mammals such as mice, elephants, dogs, cats, giraffe and even bears. In the wild, the Mexican black king snake can grow up to 3 to 4 feet, which is around 90 to 120 centimeters. But there is always exceptional that it's been recorded the Mexican black king snake can grow up to 5 feet in the captivity. So, if you are thinking to uh, get a Mexican black king snake, you have to be prepared to feed a snake like this uh, almost every week for at least 20 to 30 years. So, you wanna eat me? No? So that's all for the video today and I hope you guys enjoy it. So just a reminder for you guys, uh, remember to use a snake hook to handle your snake. If your snake is aggressive or bitey or the snake is just newly arrived at your place to avoid any accident. Okay, so I hope you guys can hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you won't miss a single upload. So see you guys in the next video. Bye!